Should you invest in marijuana stocks? Stick around for the best cannabis stocks on Robinhood. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bruce Wang. Today is gonna be another Robinhood investment video. Mainly today we're gonna to talk about cannabis stocks, marijuana stocks, weed stocks. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Uh, we're gonna go over my Robinhood portfolio and what I've done in the market in the past week. Um, I usually call these the Robinhood challenge where I deposit $100 every week into my account and I try to grow my account as much as possible all through my phone. So a quick plug before I start off everything, if you guys wanna follow along and join the Robinhood app, the links are in the description. When you do sign up, you'll get a free stock. Um, let's go over what you can get. The rarer stocks that you can get are Berkshire Hathaway, Apple, Microsoft, General Electric, CenturyLink, and Alley Capital. Those are the more common stocks that you'll be able to get, and it's 100% free. Uh, no, no commissions on trades. You can trade stocks, ETF, bonds, and um, even trade options, but if you're a beginner, I don't recommend that. Um, yeah, follow along, join me on Robinhood. It's in the links in the description. So at the moment, right now, uh, my portfolio is worth $2,482.44. I'm pretty much flatlining on the day. Um, there is a lot of volatility and I'll go through that uh, very soon. On the week, you can see that I'm up 5.2% and mostly that is because of my cannabis stocks. So I'll go through that uh, with you and I'll give you guys the top five cannabis stocks. All right, let's get into the meat of the video. First off, I wanna go over Aurora Cannabis. This is my number one go-to cannabis stock. Why? Because it's the price of the shares are easy to get into. Um, I can only deposit $100 every week for this challenge and I'm investing $100 every week and $7.90 is very flexible for me to play around with um, what I can buy and what I can't buy. Um, Aurora Cannabis, ticker symbol is ACB. Uh, at, for the week, you can see that there is a really big uh, bull run right here and um, there is now some volatility and that's where we can um, buy and sell and make some crazy profits. Um, I have 32 shares. My average cost is $6.62. Um, when I first originally bought in, my average cost was only $5, guys. So my equity right now is $252. Portfolio diversity is 5.7%. Total return so far is $40 about 20, about 19% total return. Why is this one of the biggest um, cannabis stocks? It's because the market cap is $7.73 billion. Very high market cap and uh, there's no dividend yield, so this is just strictly a growth stock. Later in the week, there'll be the earning calls, um, February 11th, uh, during the pre-market hours. So uh, I'm very excited for that. I wanna see exactly how much um, earnings per share there is. I wanna show you my history with um, ACB. Um, I originally bought in December 31st for $4. I got 10 shares at $4.94. And as the price increased, I just bought little by little. Um, and uh, I think yesterday I bought 10 shares at $7.95. And right now the price is $7.88. Aurora Cannabis is my favorite cannabis stock, weed stock, but there are a lot others. Um, let's scroll down here on the uh, portfolio. And if we look at the section where people also bought, in this section, what Robinhood does is they basically group together a lot of the more common um, stocks that are all bought together. Uh, so let's look at cannabis growth right here. This is the second most popular cannabis stock on Robinhood. Um, if we look at the one week, they're up 2%. On one month, they're up 70%. So this is why I compare um, cryptocurrencies to cannabis stock is because uh, their volatility and their growth is based off mostly speculation. And the growth, uh, you know, on the year, it's ridiculous. Here you can see that there's almost 60% uh, growth. And this was only listed last year. Uh, the market cap, this has a higher market cap than Aurora Cannabis. We're looking at 11.12 billion market cap right here. Again, no dividend yield. Uh, market high, 52 weeks high is, 
If we look at the 52 week high, it is $59.25. The 52 week lows are 18 and 93. Let's look at uh, Kronos Group. Kronos Group, again, another very popular uh, wheat stock on the week, 20% growth on the month, 80% growth on the three month, 165% growth um, on the year, uh, very similar to the three month. Kronos Group's market cap is a lot lower than um, Canopy Growth and Aurora Cannabis. I'm starting to get these mixed up. They sound uh, very similar. Kronos Group is another very popular um, cannabis stock. Just opened last year around, um, let's see if I can find it. This was listed on the market on uh, February 27th, 2018. So it's almost uh, been listed on the market for almost a year now and again it's crazy how these companies have uh, such large market caps if you guys are planning to invest in any of these stocks let me know which one in the comment sections below and why here is tilray ticker symbol tlry another very large market cap um, cannabis stock at 7.74 billion um, this was uh, listed again last year july 19 2018 and you can see that the growth over that time was is 260 percent growth insane insane amount of growth guys the 52 weeks high is saying that um this stock price went up to 300 the 52 weeks low it's 20 dollars. but when i'm taking a quick look at this um i think the 52 weeks high is closer to uh, 170 yeah around 170 dollars moving on uh, to our last uh, cannabis stock. This is New Age Beverages. NBEV is the ticker symbol. Uh, one week, we can see that there is a 6% gain. One month is a 30% gain. Three month, 67% gain. On the year, over 100% gain. So you would have doubled up if you started investing in this uh, last year. This was listed in 2017. New Age Beverages isn't a cannabis stock per se, but it is a drink infused with cannabis. So it kind of uh, is kind of on the fence right there. And if we look at the market cap, uh, it is 359 million. So the market cap is a lot smaller than um, than the other uh, stocks that I've showed you. So I, I so I think that this stock will be a lot uh, more volatile. So be careful when you um, if you are purchasing some of this um, NBEV. If we, if you guys jump into the 100 most popular stocks on Robinhood, you can see a lot of the cannabis stocks that I've went over are on here. Um, at the top here is Aurora Cannabis, Kronos Group. As I'm scrolling down, you can see Canopy Growth. Um, I think New Age Beverages is somewhere here in the middle. New Age Beverages right there. So these stocks are very popular on Robinhood. Um, if you were to jump into the desktop version of Robinhood, you can see the exact amount of people that have invested in um, those companies that also have a Robinhood account. But for whatever reason, uh, you can't really see it in the uh, mobile app. And that is some of the top cannabis stocks, weed stocks, marijuana stocks in the game right now on the market. Before you decide to throw all your money out the window and invest in these stocks, just be very well aware that these companies are very volatile and they haven't been around for that long. Um, a lot of them only only been around for one year, um, some even more than that. Um, the market cap is very high, so that's a good thing. Just be careful and don't invest more than you can afford to lose. Other than that, uh, I don't think that I'll be investing in any of the other companies other than uh, New Age Beverages and um, Aurora Cannabis. Those are the only two that I find very interesting and are well worth the risk for me. Um, the other ones, they seem like very great companies, but um, they just does, they just don't um, resonate with me. That is going to be my review of all of the popular cannabis stocks on Robinhood. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment. Again, leave a comment about what cannabis stocks you find interesting um, that I went over. That would be great. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I come out with at least two videos minimum per week. So stay tuned for new content just like this. And last but not least, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. If you guys want to ask me a question, just shoot me a DM. 
And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.